This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Shus, Rosh Yeshiva, Shlita, Rabbanim Chashuvim. I must say that I was very hesitant to get up here tonight. Perhaps it's not my place to be speaking in front of so many Gedolim Chashuvim, many. But the only reason I agreed to speak is I was afraid it would be so packed. This was Pasha, the only way I would get a seat. But because of the weather, I think it's become a, a Mekah Tos. <laughs> but the truth is, I felt a tremendous uh, degree of Hakar Satoyev to tonight's uh, host, to Bernie Shafrin. And I felt that I owed him a tremendous debt of gratitude. A number of years ago, when I came to the neighborhood... I started davening in uh, Rav Obam Shul to be Nenef and the Rav's Taira. And at the time I came to the neighborhood, I don't think I knew a soul over there. And Bernie was really the first to greet me, to welcome me, to make sure I had a seat. And I later discovered that the seat that Bernie was securing for me was his very own. <laughs> if you look at me back of the Shal Tshuvas Minchas Chen, one of the titles that was given to uh, tonight's host is that Bernie is Rosh Farisha in Lechol Dover Shabakdusha. <coughs> so what's the Pshad in Lechol? Maybe we Kadarshan. What is the Kol Balor Avois? Kol is Marbe, not only is Bernie the first to be Mechazek, the big Maistois, and the big causes, but over the years I've seen how Bernie is also Rosh Farisha in, to be Mechazek, any simple person who comes to him for whatever Tzorach. And I believe that Bernie's display of Chesed in the small areas is Megala, that when he opens up his home for Beis Medrash Govoya, we see that it stems from his Leif Toiv and from his genuine Ava Satayra, it should be as a chus for the whole Shaf from Mishpacha, for Simcha Sanachas, Gezunt, Bracha V'Hatzlacha, Adbi Askel Tzedek. We're already holding Erev Purim. The Medrash in Esther Rabbah, Zayin Yedala, tells us that after 18,500 Yidin, we're Nene from the Sudav Achashverosh, Zok the Medrash, the Ochlu they ate, the Nishtakru, the Niskalkalu, and the Medrash describes in a very depraved way. And the Medrash says, Miyad Omad Satan Vihilshin Aleim Lufnaya Kalish Baruch. That the Satan got up and he was Malshin. He accused, he was Makatrig. The Yom Elefanov, Rebbeinu Shalaylam, Ad Mosai Tidbak Baumazu. How long is it going to be? How long are you going to stick with these people? And the Medrash tells us that it came to the point where there were no limudes chus on Klal Yisrael. There were no merits to protect Klal Yisrael. Until, says the Medrash, the Rebbein Shalom offered the following four-word response. Zak the Medrash, Amar HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Taira Ma Tehei Aleha. But what's going to be with the Taira? What's going to be with the Taira? And these words... Chilling words. Taira Matahe Reminded me of a story I heard when I was a Bachar. It was one of the first Lakewood Shabbosim in Flatbush. And I confirmed the story over Shabbos with Rabbi Rucham Shlita. And he thinks it was the very first Lakewood Shabbos in Flatbush, the Aguda, Ellen 29th. And the Rosh Hashiva gets up, I shall assure this. And the Rosh Hashiva said the following story. I remember very clearly. Rosh Hashiva said, the Reb Aaron came to America, Erev Pesach, and he arrives at what many would dub the Avi Avos Hatuma. He comes to San Francisco, and it's Erev Pesach, and it's his first day in America. What was on Reb Aaron's mind? What's Reb Aaron worried about? His first day in America, Erev Pesach, San Francisco. He wasn't worried where he's going to eat the seder. He wasn't worried, how's he going to get Dalit Koisos? And he's not worried, how in the world is he going to get Matzah the day before Pesach? What was foremost on Rav Aaron's mind was Taira Matahe Oleha. What's going to be with the Taira? How's he going to build yeshivas in America? And Baruch Hashem, 70 years later, here we are, Beis Medrash Govoya, 7,000 Talmidim. We see how Rav Aaron's Mesir Snafesh helped answer that call of Torah Matahe Olao. Torah tells us in Parashas Lech Lecha about Avram Avinu, Vayikru B'Shem Hashem, that Avram Avinu, he called out in the name of Hashem. 
And the Rishonim discuss what exactly does it mean by Yikra B'Shem Hashem? What's the definition? How do we explain these words by Yikra B'Shem Hashem? Rashi, the Targum. The Ramban identifies that by Yikra B'Shem Hashem refers to Avram Avinu's practice of being machnis nefasha is tachas kam That by Yikra B'Shem Hashem, says Ramban, that Avram Avinu was moidia el akusay ba'olam. That Avram Avinu taught the world he was machnes nefasha is tachas kan fei ashkina v'yas hanefesh asherasu b'charon. So Ramban is identifying by Yikru B'Shem Hashem as harbots as Torah. Ramban explains that Yitzchak Avinu continues this great practice. Says Ramban, Yitzchak Avinu comes to Gror. Yitzchak builds a mizbeach. Vayiven shom mizbeach. Vayikru B'Shem Hashem. Says Ramban, Yitzchak Avinu was also a marbets Torah. But then the Ramban asks the million dollar question. What happened to Yaakov Avinu? Nowhere in the entire Chumash do we ever find that Yaakov Avinu was that Yikro B'Shem Hashem. What happened to Yaakov Avinu? Why wasn't Yaakov Avinu Marbet's Torah? It's the Kasha of the Ramban. And the question is even more difficult in light of the fact that the Gemara says in Avodah Zarah and Aftas, the Gemara categorizes the 6,000 years of Riyas HaOlam, and the Gemara says the first 2,000 years are Shnei Alofim Toyu, 2,000 years of emptiness. And the next 2,000 years, says the Gemara, are Shnei Alofim Toyu. Frek the Ramban, Shnei Alofim Toyu. Shnei Alofim Toyu? Why would the first 2,000 years be Shnei Alofim Toyu? Oh, the Marisha, in 930 years, he was Mamin Bashem. He was Makir Esboiroi. He was a Baal Ruach HaKodesh. Toyu? Noyach! Noyach was Loime Toyra! Alafim Toyu? Shame! Shame was Machsik Yeshiva! As the Ramban in Parashas Bereshis, why would the Gemara categorize the first 2,000 years of Briya Sa'olam, Shnei Alafim Toyra? You had Loimdim, you had Maminim, you had Machsik Yeshiva. Why is it Shnei Alafim Toyu? Zok the Ramban. Shaloi. Haya Bahem Kaire Bashem Hashem. They were Laimdim. They were Maminim. But nobody proactively tried to proliferate and expand Torah. Nobody actively went out to teach Torah. Only Avraham Avinu was Vayikra Bashem Hashem. So relative to the Torah of Vayikra Bashem Hashem, a Torah that's only in your Dalit Amoy, says the Ramban, is Toyu compared to Avraham Avinu. The Ramban says, Avraham Avinu ushers into the world the Yemei Taira, the Shnei Alafim Taira, because only Avraham Avinu is Vayikra B'Shem Hashem. Says the Ramban, Yitzchak also was a Marbitz Taira. Yitzchak was Vayikra B'Shem Hashem. But then the question is ever so stronger. What happened to Yaakov Avinu? The only thing you find by Yaakov Avinu is Ish Tam Yoshe Vayhalem. What happened to the Vayikra B'Shem Hashem? And to make the question even more difficult, we all know that Avraham Avinu is the Semel of, of Chesed. Avraham Avinu is the paragon of Chesed. Yitzchak Avinu is the paragon of Gevura, of Din. But Yaakov Avinu is the Semel of Torah. Yaakov Avinu is the paragon of Torah. How could Yaakov Avinu be the paragon of Torah if the Ramban is identifying that Torah is defined by Vayikro B'Shem Hashem, which is a facet never mentioned by Yaakov Avinu? So this is the question of the Ramban. What happened? Why is Yaakov Avinu the Ishtam Yoshev Ayhav? Answers the Ramban, listen to a Ramban. Avraham Avinu is only one person. His influence can only be felt in this world if he disseminates Torah. Says Ramban Yitzchak is only one person. His influence in the world can only be felt if he's a Marbitz Torah. But says Ramban, Yaakov Avinu, Hoylid Bonim Rabim. Yaakov Avinu has many children. 
He has 12 Shvatim. Kulam Oivde Hashem. Vahaisa Kehila Gedoyla Nikras Adas Yisrael. He had a community. He had a congregation. He had a Kehila. Says Ramban, Vinisparsima Hoamuna Bohem Vinoidela Koil. Says the Ramban, the numbers speak for themselves. When people see a group of that size, of that magnitude, Kulam Yureim, Kulam Yishalemim, that itself proclaims to the world, Vayikra B'Shem Hashem. Ein L'cha Vayikra B'Shem Hashem G'doy L'mizu. Says the Ramban, Avram Avinu was Vayikra B'Shem Hashem, Yitzchak was Vayikra B'Shem Hashem, but Yaakov is the paragon of Torah. Because through the sheer numbers of the Kehillah of Yaakov Avinu, Nisbar Sama Ho'amuna Ba'olam in the greatest way. We've all come tonight to be Machazek, the Lakewood Yeshiva, Machazek, the Rosh Yeshiva, who is joining us tonight via Skype. I think I have the good fortune to be the very first person in history to introduce Rav Malkiel via Skype. <laughs> I personally never learned in the Lakewood Yeshiva. I'm a proud Talmud of Shiva Chafetz Chaim. I've been there since I'm 14 years old. Ad Hayoy Mazah. And our Rosh Yeshiva, Rav Harish Lita, has come tonight to show the achdos and the friendship of our Yeshiva with Lakewood. But the reality is that whether you learned in Lakewood or you didn't learn in Lakewood, I believe every Yid is a direct beneficiary of the Hashpa of Beis Medrash Gavaya. Because the mere existence of a yeshiva of this magnitude, <coughs> of the 7,000 Talmidim, who are loy meitoyro yoyman balayla, biyegiyo ba'amelos, the Ramban would say, ein l'cha vayikro b'shem Hashem g'doy mizu. And the yeshiva proclaims to the world, proclaims to Klal Yisrael, the centrality of learning Torah, the, the critical nature of limad Torah in our lives. And we could say, perhaps, that in the Koyma Shalema of Klal Yisrael, the Lakewood Yeshiva is an Ever Shehaneshama Tzuluyaba, that our spiritual existence is very much hanging and dependent on this Makam Torah. When we see the Rosh Yeshiva, even via this uh, vehicle, it's Mechazekas, it reinforces in our minds that which we know, that the Torah is Kehim Chayenu Baruch Yameinu, all of us who have come tonight, You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.